Hello, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about keystones. Now, what exactly is a keystone? Well, this is a keystone. Now, in this case, we have an F jack uh, that's put into a keystone. We also have a Cat5 jack put into a keystone. And the purpose for these is so that if you take a plate, a keystone plate, like what's we, what we have here, or right here, so we have two different types. In this case, we have four holes or six holes. They also come with just one right in the center uh, or two right above each other. Uh, up to uh, six is the most that you will, uh, that you will have in a, a row. And what you do with these is, uh, these are designed for low voltage, of course, that's what we're, we're working with here. Uh, you can take your keystone jack, my F jack, and now there is an up and down on this. If you look on the back of the plate, you'll see right there it says up. Or maybe you can't see it so well in the video, but right there on the side it says up with an arrow pointing up. So this would be going up on the plate. Likewise, you'd have to make sure that up, in this case, is where the tab is on the, the jack itself. So you take your plate, you put your jack in the back at an angle, and then when you push it in, you'll hear it snap. So now the jack, you can look from the front, it's flush into the plate the way it's supposed to be. Uh, in this case, the F, uh, the F jack protrudes a little bit, uh, which again is the way it's supposed to be because otherwise you have a difficult time uh, getting the, uh, the coax cable onto it. And now if you want to change this, simply pull down on the tab and then push back and it pops right back out again. Now you can take the RJ45 jack here. Okay, here's our, our keystone for ethernet and the same thing applies, just let it slide in the back. You'll see a, a little nub on the bottom there that fits right over uh, the little ledge and snap it in place. And there you go. So now in this case, I have a, a beige uh, RJ45 jack and a white faceplate. They come in a multitude of colors. Uh, you can get white faceplates uh, or black uh, or beige. Those are the, the three colors of faceplates. However, RJ45 jacks come in numerous colors, uh, ranging from black, which is what I have right here. Here's a black uh, Ethernet jack. Uh, beige, white, uh, blue, orange, green, depends on, on what you want to do with them. You could color code them so that all uh, Ethernet jacks or all Ethernet cables connections would go to a, a blue uh, a blue RJ45 jack and all phones would go to a white RJ45 jack. Um, so uh, there, there's a, many different reasons that you would want to uh, color code different things uh, with your, your jacks. Uh, whenever I use them, uh, in this case uh, this was uh, left over from a job I did at, at my church uh, where they had beige faceplates already for uh, their electrical connections. Uh, so I chose to, to keep it for the, the Ethernet connection as well. However, in my house, I made all the phone connections white and all, so they would match the plate and all the Ethernet connections uh, for data blue so it would stand out against uh, the white faceplate and we wouldn't plug something into the, the wrong jack. Now, to get this out... Uh, if you notice, it, it doesn't just pop back out like the uh, the F jack did. You would, would actually need to put uh, a flathead screwdriver uh, or something like that in the top here. There we go to push down on the pin, and then that comes out again as well. So with our uh, here's another keystone. This is uh, a phono connection or. Um, an RCA uh, jack. Uh, we were discussing those the other night. RCA jack would be the, the phono plug you could plug into uh, the back of your DVD player or VCR. If you're running uh, audio equipment and you wanted to run uh, an audio cable through the wall for a, a speaker uh, or uh, some type of connection, then you would use this type of keystone. This type actually has what would be uh, solder on connections on the back side. So this is an old jack that I had cut off of something. Uh, but this would have soldered on connections. Uh, it, it is not the same on both sides. You can get them that are the same on both sides. So it would just plug into the back and then this would pass through 
your keystone plate you know, and then come out into the room and then you would just plug into into here. Uh, however, this type uh, again is a solder on. And we'll pop that back out for a second. And so that is uh, our keystone jacks. There's many different types of them from F jacks and RJ45s. And there are specific ones for phone. If you don't want to use an RJ45 uh, for the phone, uh, you in this case, you can you might be able to see it says Cat 5E Plus right there. Okay, so that way you know it has eight pins and it's for uh, an Ethernet connection. Uh, an RJ or um, uh, an RJ11, which would be for phone, does not have Cat 5E written on it because you would not use it. As uh, even though you could use Cat 5 cable for the connection on the back, you would not use it for a computer. Uh, also, if for example maybe you only have three plates uh, or three keystones, there are also blanks that you could fill in so you don't have uh, an empty hole in the uh, in the socket there so you could put in your your keystones there you go and then if you didn't have one to go in there you just put a, a blank in just to fill it so you don't have an empty hole in the wall okay so that is keystone jacks and uh, this is because, again, it's low voltage coming through the wall. This would go on to a low voltage ring. Now, if you notice, this, unlike the uh, electrical boxes that are either blue or gray and have a solid back on them, uh, the low voltage rings do not. This is simply, uh, you make your hole in the wall, put your, con your ring through the wall, and then tighten it up using the, the wing nuts on it. And then that gives you something to install your faceplate through. All your wires just come through the wall. You would make your connections as needed to the keystones and then screw the keystone plate to that, uh, to that ring. And that's what would keep it on the wall. Okay. You could bring your, uh, your connections through uh, one of the blue or gray boxes for, uh, for electrical. Uh, however, that is not necessary. Uh, because it's low voltage, a uh, low voltage ring uh, is sufficient to make those connections. You don't need to have a, a back on the box. All right, so that is keystones. In the next video you're going to see, I'm going to show you how to do punch downs on the keystones because you would use your punch down tool to make your connections to Ethernet and to uh, phone lines. So uh, F-Jack, you would just simply terminate uh, your cable as I showed you in, in a previous video and then screw it onto the back here that passes through and then you would screw it onto the front and run that to the, the TV then or the VCR or whatever you're, you're running that to your satellite uh, receiver um, but your Ethernet needs to get terminated in a particular manner uh, using a punch down tool so that is going to be our next lesson is how to do a punch down for your your keystone jacks alright thank you very much